Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. And sorry for being away for a while. I had some important things I had to tend to. All is well. And I deeply missed you all. You mean so much to me. I want you to know that. I see the kind and wonderful comments that come through. And it's hard to come up with words that can express how much I value your kindness and love. Kindness and love that you show to this little tiny cartoon man. So I want to thank you. And as I was busy with a few things. There were tons of news stories coming in that I wanted to cover. I just didn't have the time or the energy to do so. But now I do and here I am. And this video today is an important one. Because something I've been talking about and a few others for more than a decade now is starting to pop up in science and in important studies. And I will leave you some links in the description box below. But it turns out that the female psychopath is almost a one to one in occurrence to their male counterpart. For the longest time. It's been said that for every six male psychopaths there is only one female psychopath. But now. Dr. Clive Body's research into workplace issues and to be more specific the workplace psychopath. He uncovered that number is nowhere near 6 to 1. But it's for every 1.2 men that are psychopaths. There is one woman that is a psychopath. Which is basically saying. They are the same or so close to being the same. We are really splitting hairs with the numbers. And I included narcissists into the title of this video. Because even though psychopaths are very close cousins to narcissists. They are slightly different. Narcissists have the ability depending on stressors and other things that are going on in the narcissist's life. They have the ability of morphing into a psychopath. I believe what one can take from this study. Is we are talking about evil women and evil men. That exploit others without remorse or care. And enjoy causing pain to others. Whether they are a narcissist or a psychopath is again. To some degree or another splitting hairs. Because as we've seen. Just like I mentioned. It doesn't take much for a narcissist. Because they've gotten away with tons of things their entire life. To end up committing some horrible violent act. Or they might put dangerous substances in their spouse's drink. Ending their life. And then go on to write a book on how to deal with grieving. And collect money for their efforts after committing such a crime. And we are seeing this happen with not just men but women at an alarming rate. But here's the thing. I think it's always been like that. And Dr. Body mentioned these differences. That the female psychopath especially in the workplace. Might employ more manipulative tactics. Whereas the male narcissist might use some manipulation. But he might use more overt intimidation. There was a politician. I think in Las Vegas. I could be wrong. And this guy was the classic version of this. Of the narcissist turned psychopath. At least in my opinion. He was horrible to his employees. Making them go to work in fear every single day. And then they shared their story with a local relentless journalist that took on their story. Well that journalist had covered the mafia and all kinds of dangerous people for decades. Then he covers this guy. Who was the worst of the worst. And when he felt like he was losing everything. And though this guy is up for trial. The evidence is overwhelming that this politician guy. Got dressed up in a funny hat and strange outfit. And attacked and stabbed this journalist until he was no longer on planet earth. They have the hat. They have the getaway vehicle. They have everything. 
but this was a guy that would rule with an iron fist. And there are women that do this too. But the female that is in this role knows that they can stay on this role longer and if they aren't in this type of role yet, they can get there by using what? Manipulation. You see. Dr. Body talks about social norms is the main reason why we are unable to see this stuff. Because we pump into society that men are the aggressors and evil. And women are sugar and spice and everything nice. This is why 9 times out of 10 women no matter how bad of a mother they are they will get custody of the child. In family court disputes. It happens. Because even on the silly dating podcasts. They too will say over and over. That women are more nurturing and or caring than men are. But if we look out in society we aren't seeing that play out. Which is basically a big time gaslight. Because even though we see different. If you speak out and point out what is happening. You get slammed down. Why? Because society says that women are more nurturing than men are. Even when that isn't the truth. Society says that men teachers are the problem. So we have more female teachers than ever. And guess what we see almost every single day in the news with female teachers and female staff at schools all over the place. There are some airlines at least for some countries. And I believe even some trains and things like that. If a young child is boarding by themselves. And they are sitting next to a man. They will force the man to move. And make sure they are sitting by a female. Yet we see all of the time. Women just as much as men attempting to abduct young children from grocery stores and fast food places all of the time. And the reason this. False narrative is happening is because the narcissists and the psychopaths are running the show. And if you are able to prove and get real solutions behind these problems. Guess what happens to narcissism? It fades into the background of society not front and center like it has been. So they pump out lies and gaslight you and the rest of society. So much so. Society will attack you if you dare speak up against the lie that is being pushed. But you know. When I was reading this article. It reminded me of a news story I came across recently. And it was regarding this friendly looking woman named. Crystal Candelario. What did she do? Well. She just recently pleaded guilty. Because she left her 16-month-year-old in her playpen. And took off from her Cleveland, Ohio home. To go on vacation to sunny Puerto Rico. Well. When she came back home. She found her young child in her playpen in a pile of soiled diapers and non-responsive because she starved and became dehydrated until her young life was no more. This woman didn't take off to the store. Leaving her child at home. Which would be bad enough and dangerous and criminal. But this woman went on an entire vacation. Why? Because she could. Because she could. And who knows. Maybe some guy came along and offered to take her. Because he thought she was so fine or whatever. And I don't doubt that at all. Because if she has no care to just leave her child alone that is 16 months years old in a playpen by themselves for 10 darn days straight. Then why not thought it up? Why not use a guy for a free trip? And this is the type of thing that Dr. Body is talking about. That oftentimes women get away with what they do. Because they are oftentimes able to appeal to other people in society and claim victim. And years ago. It was a lot easier for them to get away with. If this was a few decades earlier. She might have been able to come up with some stupid lie that might have been believed. But because science is catching up. It's becoming more and more difficult for them. The female psychopath or narcissist to get away with their evil. And no matter how many news stories we see. And no matter how many evil things we see both men and women do. The talking heads in society still repeat. Well no. Women are more nurturing than men. Don't you know? And if you go against this. You are labeled all kinds of things that you are not. And no one dare runs to your defense. Otherwise they are labeled too. And when you think about it. 
Doesn't this sound just like the house or homes many of us grew up in? Where we were slated for abuse because we spoke the truth about what we were seeing in our home. And our narcissist siblings now the golden children let it all happen. Because they didn't want to be mistreated and not given that fake love the narcissist had to give. So they went along with everything the narcissist parent or parents said. Even if they said the sky was pink and water is orange. But what does all of this mean? It means we have an answer as to why dating and relationships are a mess. And they don't seem to be getting any better. Simply because the female psychopath and narcissist don't want things to get better and they want to drag down as many good women as they can with them. That's why no matter we see evil like this woman on the screen behind me play out time and time again. It can't be denied that female evil. Female psychopathy. Female narcissism. And female abuse to others is being pushed as the norm. A norm that everyone must get on board with and accept. I was just clicking on videos. And I clicked on a video with the Jersey Shore cast. Meeting back up in Atlantic City. And I don't know if it was the mayor of Atlantic City or who the guy was. But there was a man up in front of a big crowd. It might have been the mayor. I'm not sure. He was welcoming the cast of the Jersey Shore back into Atlantic City. And with every cast member he announced. He said something funny about them that they were known for in Atlantic City. And they would then show a clip when they were in Atlantic City doing whatever funny thing they were known for. Then when they got to Jenny. Or Jay Wow. This man happily said how she was known for her spinning back fist she did to the cast member Mike. As they show the clip of her spinning with force and giving Mike a spinning back fist to the jaw. Now what I want you to do for a moment. Think if that was reversed. And let's say it was just an open hand slap. And it was Mike giving one to Jenny because of something she said or something she did. Well. If it ever happened. He would have never continued on with the show. And there would have been an entire PSA about how abuse is wrong. But when a woman does it to a man. It's humorous. You see. This is the type of norm that female narcissists and psychopaths love to hide behind. Now true. More and more are getting caught. I see police videos now all of the time with women getting arrested for abusing men. But you can tell in these videos. These women are stunned that them using they are just a helpless female isn't working. It's like the computer isn't computing. They have a look on their face. Like this has worked my entire life. Why is this not working now? And this is dangerous. And this is where people end up losing their life. Because narcissists and psychopaths. Both male and female. Get bolder and bolder as the years go on as they get away with stuff. And I believe it causes a mass delusion in their mind. Where they can rationalize almost anything they do. And they can convince themselves they will just get away with it. And they might not even care to think about it even that much. Simply because that's how it's always been. You see. If things changed. Like let's say family law. Divorce court. So forth and so on. Where the children weren't used as pawns and no one had leverage over the other. You would start to again. See narcissism and psychopathy fade into the background of society. But as many male and female divorce and family court attorneys have stated. That the female narcissist or psychopath will keep that process going even when things could have been solved easily. Why? Because they enjoy the pain that is caused to their victim. And they enjoy the supply they are getting from it. And they don't care if the money that is spent on this process could put their child through college twice over. It's not about that. They just want to enjoy the process and they don't want the process to end. And a lot of lawyers and attorneys are speaking out saying this is extremely common. But this is why you see people getting censored. Or they fight those that want to see a positive change. Because they. The female narcissists love the gender biases. They hide within them. And they attempt to avoid accountability within them as well. And anyone looking to take that away from them. They will do what they have to do to take you down and out. 
and that's the world we live in. But the hope is that more like Dr. Body from Anglia Ruskin University in England will continue to speak out. And little by little a pushback will happen to where narcissists and psychopaths will be seen for what they are. Because even though you have evil demons like this woman behind me. That are now common by the way. You will still have some women that will back the girl code or the sister code even though they know it's wrong. Why? Because they know one day they might need to benefit from these double standards. So they will continue to back what they know is wrong and shame those that try to expose what is wrong. And men. The men that back this stuff aren't doing so for genuine reasons either. They hope they can get the attention of one of these women. So they will go along with whatever lie they have to go along with. Narcissism feeding narcissism. Or the narcissist feeding the narcissist. They are a group. And though they don't have a membership, they know all of the same words and phrasings and the same lies to tell. With that said, I thought you would find this new development interesting. Though many of us knew this fact a long long time ago. Well that's all I have for today. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please click the notification bell if you haven't. This platform does some goofy stuff as we all know. Share this video wherever you can. And see what we can do to push this information out to everyone that needs it. Because I believe the more people see this for what it is. And the more people start standing together. The less afraid people will be to start pushing back against this mess. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.